All right, today I'm going to talk about using etudes as a way of becoming a better improviser, learning and growing as you progress. The etude I'm working on today is a B-flat blues, concert B-flat blues etude I wrote for a student of mine who's a wonderful trombone player, Asa Martin. This is the blues. It sounds like this. A one, two, a one, two. <laughs> So that's the etude, and I'll talk a little bit about how I go about learning these first. So the first thing I do is I write the etude. You can use a transcription, a chorus of your favorite solo from an artist, or you can create an amalgamy of different lines from various artists over a form. Uh, or you can write the material yourself. In this case, I wrote most of the material, although it does include a few cliches, and all of it includes underlying concepts. The underlying concept in this etude is both the use of triad pairs and the use of the half whole and the whole half diminished scale. So there are a few lines that come from cliche vocabulary throughout the etude. Uh, which I'll point out as I explain it. So the first phrase I took from a Walter Smith solo that I transcribed on conception, and it's a diminished line, and it starts with an arpeggio, uh, starts with a voicing for a dominant seven sharp nine chord. So it sounds like this B flat seven concert B flat seven sharp nine. If I put the root in first, you can really hear that voicing. So that's how it starts. And that's something Walter played there on that solo. And it all comes from the diminished scale. If I play the scale first, you'll hear it. You can hear how congruent that is with the sound of the scale. So the second part of that line is a triad pair. Uh, basically a G major triad and a C sharp minor triad. Uh, both of those come from the diminished scale. So it's a little triad pair idea. The next line of the etude this is a D-flat major triad with a flat 9, also from diminished scale. And then we go down a fourth and up a whole step. Down a fourth, up a whole step, down a fourth, up a whole step. Also, all from the diminished scale. This is a cliche often played. Many, many players have played it. And then we're on bar five on the E flat concert, E flat seven. And here I'm using a triad at 11 tetrad. That's a four note cell. It's comprised of the triad, the E flat triad with an added A flat or 11. And then in bar six, we have our B diminished and the whole half diminished in this case. I'm using triad pairs there, a C triad and a F sharp minor triad. Bar six, I, again, a tetrad that's a triad with an added 11, in this case, B flat triad at 11. Eight on the five seven of two, the G seven flat nine. I'm using the half whole diminished there, and the triad pairs there are a G major triad and a D flat major triad. And we end on the third of of a C minor concert. Go up to the nine and back down. 
and then we end on the seventh of F7. We turn that into a B major triad, an F major triad, and then to the root of the of the key, in this case B flat. The turnaround is all F7 flat nine using half whole diminished. I start with an F major triad, and then D major triad and then B major triad back to B flat, the fifth of B flat. So the whole etude again. That's the etude, and I find tons of value in these etudes. I have lots of them, and on days when I'm not really inspired, I can play through them. Uh, I can sing them. I can work on them with a metronome, with a play along. Sometimes on gigs, I'll play one chorus. I'll play the etude as a way of starting the solo or ending the solo or somewhere in the middle, just just to become more familiar in uh, performing the etude if I want to. Uh, each of the etudes can be put through the keys. You can take individual phrases, displace them rhythmically, put them through the keys, each phrase. It's endlessly rewarding and valuable as, a, as an artist, I think, to have you know, these personalized etudes that kind of reflect your taste and vocabulary and in ideas that you're trying to begin to utilize in your improvising. So I hope you find that helpful, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.